Hi, I'm Ramesh Yerabali. And I'm John Valvano. And in this video, we will show you the lab kit. And just to get you excited about this class, we will also demonstrate the completed labs. Here they are. The most important part of the kit is the microcontroller board. And each of you will purchase a Teva Launchpad development system, which comes with a standard USB cable. And this is the ARM Cortex-M processor. You will be using this board to complete five of the labs. The remaining labs, which are a little more exciting, require some external components. The components you will need are a few resistors of various sizes, a few light emitting diodes of different colors, a few switches, an audio jack. And for the transducer, we will be using a slide pot. Depending upon where and how you buy it, you might get a short one or a long one. Either size is okay. And to put things together, you will need some cables and a breadboard. You could buy them as a separate kit or as a kit together. It does not matter, and what size you buy also does not matter. And all the buying instructions are on the website. And we will now show you the labs in the order in which you will complete them. So as John mentioned, the first few labs will just use the launch pad and a cable connected to your computer. And in the interfacing lab, you will interface a switch and an LED. In the traffic light controller lab, we will use a finite state machine to implement a traffic light controller. And the interface will involve switches for traffic and a switch for the pedestrian button. And in the guitar tuner lab, we will use interrupts to create the note A. So John, what is this doing here? Well, Ramesh, in addition to the labs the students will do, there will be some projects that we will show you how it works. And so this stepper motor car actually combines all the components of these labs so far. And you can see, it moves. Professor Yerabali, the labs are getting more interesting. Yeah, let's take a look at them. This is the digital piano lab. You will interface switches and build a digital to analog converter. And together they will make sound. And that sound can also be used as music. This is the data acquisition lab. And in this lab, you will interface a slide pod, a potentiometer, and the position of the slide pod will be displayed on an LCD display. And we'll put it all together and create a handheld video game. Uh, it has a joystick, it has sounds, and here you see a Space Invader game. Here's an alternate version of the same game, except we put all of the components on a single board. Again, you have your joystick and your buttons to play the game. Hey, John, what is this again? Just like before, there will be some projects that we will build for you. Here is a digital to analog converter, which is different than the one that you build in lab. And here is our autonomous robot. We'll put together all the concepts of this class to make a robot which can drive straight down the road. There you have it. I hope you have as much fun taking this class as we had making it for you.